What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I can't, I can't even do that with a straight face. I, that's, okay. That was a joke. That's not my intro. I can't, I can't do the Jeffree Star. <laughs> what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are obviously playing with the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Star Concealer and Setting Powder. You guys, I am so hyped to film this video. I got these products uh, about a week ago. I bought them the day they launched on April 19th and today is April 29th. So I've had them in my possession for about a week. I did pay extra to have these two day expedited shipping because I needed them. But I shouldn't have done that to myself because they've been taunting me for like a week. I've been dying to play with these things. So today is finally the day. I'm super, super excited. And I'm also very excited because this is the first video in my new series called Tested Out Tuesday. I talked a little bit about this on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, be sure to do so so you don't miss out on any exciting announcements. But this new series, Tested Out Tuesday, is exactly that. Tuesdays are gonna be our days to play with new products, test out new makeup. We're just gonna have a grand all time with first impressions, wear tests, the whole nine. I'm really, really excited about this series. It's gonna be a fun thing to look forward to on Tuesdays. We'll be playing with new products. And I think it's also just gonna kinda help organize my videos a little bit more so that way I'm not doing like three first impressions in a row. And I think it just makes a little bit more sense for you guys. You know when to tune in if you're looking for new products to play with. And I'm debating. I'm still thinking about if I wanna do like a sneak peek Monday nights. Maybe do like a little teaser of what Tuesday's video is going to be if we're testing out a new product. So if you have not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to do so so you don't miss any exciting videos I have coming up. I have lots of good stuff planned for you guys in the future. And I've been talking for far too long. The real reason you guys are here is to see the star, no pun intended, of the show. So without further ado, let's get into it. Just to get us going, I did apply a primer and foundation already just to kind of smooth out my skin so we can move right along to the concealer and powders. This is just the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. And then on top of that, I went in with my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. So the first thing I wanna talk about are so first we're gonna talk about the Magic Star Concealer. So these, along with the translucent powder, launched on April 19th, I believe. So they've been out for a little bit over a week. And I actually got two shades. I got C8 and then C13. The website, I think, had like a pretty good description to help you find your shade. Gave you like, the lightness or the darkness, and then it gave you the undertone. There were a ton of options. These concealers come in a shade range of 30, which is just absolutely incredible. I think it's super, super awesome. There's a shade and an undertone for pretty much everyone. And there's also two color correcting shades. There's a peach and then a green. I did not pick up those because I'm not like a huge color corrector. I just choose like really full coverage products so that way I don't have to do any color correcting because I'm, <laughs> so lazy, but it is really great that there is an option if you are someone who does enjoy doing that or if you need a little extra help. These guys retail for $22, I believe, or like $21.95. So this one right here is C8. Um, I have a feeling this is, this is gonna be the shade that I'm using today, but I will open C13 for you guys as well, just so you can see. C13 is obviously darker and they both have a neutral undertone, I believe. I prefer to choose things with a neutral undertone because I play with different self tanners and some are more olive, some are more like red based. So it's nice to have a little bit of variety. You don't have to like color match exactly. But if dark circles are something you really struggle with, I would recommend going a little bit more peachy because because the peach undertones will cancel out any blue purple tones in your skin. So I quickly just wanna talk about the packaging. First of all, the box on these is so cute. It's almost like a little bit hollow. Can you see that? Without being like rainbow, it's, I don't know. I think that you can tell there was a lot of effort put into the box itself. And I'm, becoming such a super fan of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I've never tried anything from his line before until I purchased these concealers. I purchased a lot of liquid lipsticks just to test out, a skin frost, and two eyeshadow palettes as well. And I've just 
fallen in love with his stuff because there's so much thought and effort put into each little component. Everything is so well thought out. It's so creative. It's fun. It's different. Nobody else has anything like it. And it's actually pretty reasonably priced in my opinion for like a higher end makeup line. A concealer for $22 I think is a very fair price, especially if the product performs really, really well. So as you can tell, this component is actually the cutest thing I have ever seen. This is like really high quality in my opinion. Like this is solid plastic. It's, I mean, this is just like so over the top and I love it. I, this is the most extra thing ever. And you know packaging like this isn't cheap. So the fact that you have really nice packaging and it still comes in at $22 is pretty good. So you're kind of paying for the experience along with the product itself. The doe foot applicator is pointed as you can see. And then it also has a hole in the middle and the hole in the middle is supposed to basically trap more product. So that way when you pull it out of the tube, you can go in with a few swipes and you don't have to keep dunking in and out of the tube. You can kind of just like one time swipe it all over your face and you're good to go. So I just want to swatch the two colors for you guys that I got. This is C8. That's so creamy. These are pigmented. He said that they're very, very lightweight, yet they have 20% pigment. So they're supposed to be super, super pigmented, cover everything in just one swipe. And we're actually gonna test that out in a second. I just wanna swatch this one first. This is C13. So this one actually is a little bit peachier, if you can see, but I would definitely use that when I'm a little bit darker. I think that today we could actually mix them together a little bit just to get yeah, we might mix them because I am struggling with some dark circles lately. So because they are 20% pigment, I really wanna see what the coverage is like. And in his video, he was swatching them on top of tattoos and said that you can actually cover a tattoo with these concealers. So I have one on my wrist that I just, I'm like out of sheer curiosity. I just wanna see. Wow. I mean, blend it out. That's, that's pretty good. This guy on my wrist is very dark. It is a very bold tattoo and it covered it this much. So I think if you like went in with a peach corrector first and then did a little concealing on top, you're, you're in business if you need to cover anything up. So I'm going to, after I clean myself off, I'm going to scoot you guys in a little bit closer and we're just gonna go ahead and apply this guy, get right into it, and then we will move on to the powder. I just want you guys to be able to see up close really well how well the product performs, how well it blends out, the color, all that kind of stuff. So let's get into it. I'm going to take shade C8 first. So just dipping in once. And I'm just going to apply this like I normally would. I'm gonna blend out the product on my chin first. Did you see how fast that blended out? The concealers are fragrance-free if that's something that you're looking for. I know a lot of people are kind of on the crusade of fragrance-free makeup. So if you're looking for something that's fragrance-free, these concealers are. This is amazing. And I am taking a little bit of that on top of my eyelid just to use that as kind of an eyeshadow base. This looks actually phenomenal. Why does this look so amazing? Oh my God. Now we are going to go in with our powder. So this is the Magic Star Setting Powder and I actually got mine in the shade Fair. I wanted to get translucent, but then I kind of changed my mind because lately I've been using such bright concealers that the translucent powder on top just makes me look incredibly ghostly and I think Fair is just a little bit more suitable. So this is what the packaging looks like. Again, super, super cute packaging. I, I mean, I love it. So it does have like a little twisty sifter and then I need to get this little sticker off. So while I'm doing that, um, just to give you guys an idea, these powders run for $22 as well and there are eight shades of these. So I'm just gonna dump a little bit into the lid. We're gonna do like a full on bake today just because I'm so curious to see how this powder performs. This smells like cotton candy. This powder is so fine that I am inhaling it a little bit. Ugh. Can you see all that coming off? This stuff is super, super finely milled, so like, ugh, just don't breathe when you apply it. 
it's kind of flying everywhere. And because it is so finely milked, you kind of have to use a decent amount if you're baking. Wow, this is like all up in my nose. So while I'm baking and before I dust all of this off, I wanted to read you some of the points and claims on the actual Jeffree Star website. So for the concealer, it's a creamy high coverage liquid concealer formula that comes in over 30 shades, like I said. Helps even out skin tone, has 20% pigment and can cover tattoos. I would agree with that. It did a really, really good job. And it says that it has anti-aging properties that help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I cannot test that out because I do not have many wrinkles, but I would say that it did not do any crazy creasing under my eyes where I do have some fine lines. And it says that it has kind of a self-setting effect, which I did notice. This, when you apply it, it kind of dries down to a powdery matte finish but it's still a little bit tacky. It definitely feels a little bit tight and you can feel it setting down, but I would definitely still set this with the powder. I would never wear concealer by itself on its own without setting it anyways. So now for the powder, it says that it's their first ever setting powder, of course, and it's an ultra fine, yes, it is very fine, soft and luxurious formula that's infused with vitamin C and E with a special blend of silica that basically controls oil and keeps you matte. And it's supposed to give you an airbrush effect, blurring, no pores, creasing, anything like that. And like I said, it is available in eight shades and it is $22 as well. So we've been sitting here for about five, 10 minutes chatting away. So I'm just gonna dust away my bake. I definitely am Super matte. I would totally agree with the oil control aspect. I look very matte. And I like this for like my forehead and my T-zone, but I would like to see what this looks like without me leaving the bake on for so long because I think that my under eyes look a little bit dry in my opinion. I mean, they don't look horrible by any means. They just... They don't feel too dry either, but they are looking a little bit crepey. But like I said, for my T-zone, I absolutely love this. Like I am like set, like that is matte. I have no creasing on my forehead where usually I have like two wrinkles that makeup really likes to settle in. My forehead looks like I just got like a round of Botox. It looks really good. And my chin, again, no creasing. My nose, I don't think I'm gonna get any transfer or any rub off, which is where I normally do get it the most. Yeah, I just, I don't know that I would use this to bake my under eyes. I think it's good to set but I don't know that I would leave this on as long as I did this time around. Um, maybe just like a quick little set and be done with it. I'm a big fan of this. I think it looks really, really nice. I have like a nice even canvas. So I'm gonna go off camera and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll meet you back here in a second. I had to do a hot pink eye. I just feel like if we're talking about Jeffree Star Cosmetics, like that's the respectful thing to do. You know what I mean? If you're interested in like the eye makeup details, rest of my makeup details, I always post them on my Instagram. So if you're interested in seeing the products I use to achieve this hot pink smoky eye, then I'll leave my Instagram right here and you guys can check it out, follow me there and get all of the juicy info. So I know this video was focusing on the concealer and the setting powder but I have one last product that I really really want to test out on camera for you guys um, I have one of the skin frosts and I have mine in the shade Siberian gold I have swatched this on like my hand but I have not used this on my face yet I thought it would be good for you guys to see it's kind of like a little bonus product here so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my morphe m501 brush and just apply that to my cheekbones truthfully it's not like as bright and like shiny as I was expecting. Like people rave about these. Okay, let's try a different brush. This is the M510. That's pretty. Ooh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Honestly, not like as blinding and wet as I was expecting, but I think this is still really, really pretty. It's a huge pan, like this is massive. And they have a ton of unique shades and colors. So you can really experiment with these and have a lot of fun. I like it. I think it looks really pretty. I love this gold. I'm a big gold highlight kind of gal. So all in all, I must say that I am super impressed with the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics concealer and the setting powder. This concealer, I think, is just super creamy. It's very pigmented. Like, this might be replacing my Tarte Shape Tape. I think my skin looks 
fantastic. This really blended into my foundation so smoothly. It blended out in literally like two seconds. It was so quick, so creamy. And I just think this formula is amazing. I just, I'm, I'm truly, truly obsessed with this. I think this is an amazing product. He did such a good job on the shade range, the undertones. I think that this is just an absolute home run. The packaging is adorable. And you know, it just, it, it performs so perfectly. I really, I don't have a single bad thing to say about this. Other than I don't necessarily agree that it's self setting. I think that if you're wearing concealer, you need to set it regardless. It is gonna crease. That's just the nature of the beast. That's how concealer works. It does dry down to a little bit of a tacky finish where it's not gonna crease that badly on you, but I definitely would recommend still setting this and I just, I'm like speechless. It's so good. So this powder I do enjoy. I wanna play with it a little bit more. I noticed that when I left this on baking a little bit longer on my under eyes, they looked a little bit dry. Now that I've kind of smoked out my eyeshadow and blended all that out, it doesn't look as dry. For a little bit there, it was looking a little bit crepey for my personal taste. But again, I don't think it's bad at all. I think this definitely is amazing for setting your T-zone. It does have a little extra silica in there to kind of combat oil and make sure you stay nice and matte throughout the day. I don't know that I need that much because my skin is not super oily. If your skin is super oily, I think you would really, really love this. If you're on the drier side, I would definitely recommend using this pretty sparingly. It is a really, really finely milled powder. So when I was packing it on, I was like breathing in and like choking on it a little bit. So hold your breath maybe. It really did a good job of just blurring everything out, smoothing everything out. The smell is, it's okay, it's sweet, but it doesn't linger. Once you dust away your bake, it dissipates. It's not a big deal at all. So if you're sensitive to that, just be cautious. This does have a little bit of a sweeter cotton candy-ish scent. Packaging is really, really nice. I think the sifter is a super, super nice touch. That way you can kind of close it off. It's super clean packaging. I don't think that this is gonna make a huge mess on you. And it's so nice that it comes in eight shades. It's $22 for a setting powder. That's good these days. Some powder foundations and setting powders get really up there. And I personally really enjoyed the shade Fair better than Translucent. I think it was still really nice and brightening. I mean, you can always go with Translucent, but if you want something a little bit more natural but still brightening, I would go like one shade up from your usual skin tone, maybe like one or two shades. I hope you enjoyed our first Tested Out Tuesday and I'm really looking forward to the series and many more of these videos to come. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe so that way you don't miss any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Can't stop staring at those oceans.